Hey guys, so I don't know. I've just got an abundance of energy today. I didn't get to walk. It's been raining, sleeting all day. So I thought I'd make a video on the new different two-step mask, which is one I've been meaning to get to for a while now. Uh, Detox and Soothe Two-Step Treatment Mask. So I, I like how it comes covered in foil, I guess, because it's going to have two parts to it. The technology is crazy. Two parts, two things in one jar. Whoa, and I'm making a mess already. But I, I do like what they've done. Hang on. I already made a mess of it, but they've got two little lids on it. So that's nice. So they recommend applying the first step, which is the warming rinse off clay, which detoxifies onto damp skin that's cleansed. And I just cleansed. Uh, I also toned a little bit with the Purito Centella and said to toner, which they finally got rid of the witch hazel. So now the new versions of this will be witch hazel free. I am just loving the fact that there's actually at least one brand out there that I know of that actually listens to people. So that's exciting. So my skin is not damp, but I'm going to get it damp with the YouTube people mist. Okay, so how do you know which part is the first part and which one's the second part? Well, I guess the clay part, huh? Right? Because it says clay. Yeah, I'm going to assume that is the first part. That's a wild assumption, and it, it could be wrong, but I don't think it is, but hang on. That mist is so fine, it just uh, evaporates. They also gave me a gigantic spatula, so I don't have to put my fingers in the jar. Although I'm a little worried about my hair getting all messed up. I still need to listen to you guys and get your, uh, you always suggest those hand warmer things for when you're rinsing your face off in the sink so it doesn't drip all the way down your arm. I still need to order those. Okay. And that just says to leave it on for three minutes. So here we go. I try to avoid my mouth, but no matter what, I always somehow get everything messed up in there. It would be kind of cool if they just had like a one on here, like part one, step one, but whatever. There's definitely um, a tingling, warming sensation. Let's just look at the ingredients. So, okay, so leave this on for two to three minutes. Rinse with cool water. Then step two, apply a thin layer of the cooling leave-on gel. Whenever I see cooling or warming, but particularly cooling, it may, may, makes me think of mint ingredients or menthol, which is not great for skin. So after that, apply a thin layer of the cooling leave-on gel to entire face. Do not rinse and then use two to three times a week. These masks were uniquely designed or together and shouldn't be used as directed, not separately. Your face might fall off if you use step one without step two. The detox and soothe the Trio Max mask can be used with different gel, obviously. When used as directed, this mask should last two to three months. Sensitivity tests for New Year's is apply products sparingly to one to two small areas while skin is damp after cleansing face. Wait 30 seconds and wash off. Okay, so let me look at the step two ingredients, which is the leave-on mask. Water, dimethicone, propanolol, methyl lactate. There's no way I'm leaving that on my skin all night. And that's the one, two, three, fourth ingredient. The fifth ingredient is phenoxethanol. And then after that, we've got more dimethicone, cross-polymer, acrylates, Apple fruit, aniliton, squalane, sodium hydroxide. Yeah, you know what? The chances of me leaving step two in my skin are very slim, but I'm going to leave my mind open. Okay, it's been about three months. I'm going to rinse this off with cool water.
a uh, heat effect or a warming effect, which I'm not always super big on, but uh, anyway. So step two, apply a thin layer of cooling gel to entire face. They didn't say damp, so I'm going to assume they want it on dry skin. I'm assuming at this point, if you use different gel, this is where you'd apply the different and then go with the mask. But uh, anyway, here we go with part two, which looks like that. I'm going to try and have... Uh... Oh, it definitely has that menthol lactate going in there. It feels cooling, but you know what? Just because something feels cooling, it doesn't exactly mean that anything good is happening. Feels nice uh, and hydrating. I like the texture of it though. And I, I mean, it, it feels cooling, but it goes away pretty quickly. So, uh, let's see if I can figure out how to put this back on the thing. Or maybe you'd apply your different gel now and then maybe the different moisturizer. I don't know. I mean, my skin looks and feels nice, though. Let me look at the ingredients of the first step. Water, kaolin, petroleum, avocado oil, coconut oil, sunflower seed oil, shea butter. I really don't think they're really going after their traditional different customers with this when you've got avocado, coconut, and sunflower seed oil right off the bat. And then shea butter. But, uh, yeah, that cooling effect is really starting to kick in right now, and I'm not so big on it. You know, it wouldn't bother me if I had no idea what the cooling effect was from. Or if I didn't know that the cooling effect was from menth methyl lactate, which is not good for your skin. The fact that I know that makes me not like this cooling effect and want to rinse it off right away. There's no way I'm leaving this on my skin all night, um, sadly. I, I don't even know if I'd do, I, I don't even know if I'd do that to my hand, to be honest. Sadly. So I think I'm going to have to rinse step two off. But step one I liked, so. Sorry, different. I can't do it. I'm so depressed. I'm more depressed the fact that I feel like I did like three weeks worth of hydration removal from my skin in about five minutes. Because it's tingling and uh, generally tingling, tingling like this is not a good thing. So I'm probably going to spend the rest of the evening trying to immerse the hydration back into my skin that that methyl lactate took out. Menthol lactate. Fourth ingredient. What the heck? It's like putting one of those icy hot patches on your face. That's what it feels like. So anyway, sorry, I totally digressed from the entire purpose of this video, but that's uh, my candid 10 minutes with a different two-step mask, which I'll use step one again, step two, never touching my face ever again. So anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've tried it. So uh, anyway, or what your favorite detoxifying mask is. So, okay. Thank you guys. Bye.